All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b here to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 0 0.2 is equal to log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 0 0.2, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 2 over log 0 0.2. Now, if you notice here, log 0 0.2, well, that's the same thing as log of 2 over 10. And if I have something in the form log a over b, this is simply equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, a is 2 and b is 10. So I can rewrite this as x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus log 10. Now, log 10, as we all know, is simply 1. So I have x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus 1. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. So I have 0 0.3010 over 0 0.3010 minus 1. And now this is equal to 0 0.3010 over 0 0.6990. And finally, if I divide these two, I get that x is equal to, sorry, this is actually negative 0 0.6990 x is equal to negative 0 0.43. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. So just looking at this problem, we can see that x is going to be greater than y. And this is because if x were less than y, then this would result in this here equaling a negative number. But because x is greater than y, this is why it's going to equal a positive number. Meaning, if x is greater than y, then x is going to equal y plus some number k. So k is a constant. So now, if I go ahead and replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, and we write that as 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of y, I get 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 120. So now, this gives me two equations. I have 2 to the power of, or sorry, before that actually, 120, I can go ahead and rewrite as 8 times 15. So now, as you see, 
This is going to give me two equations. We can think of 2 to the power of y as 8 and 2 to the power of k minus 1 as 15. Because 2 to the power of y, this is going to be an even number, right? 2 to the power of any number is an even number. And 2 to the power of k minus 1, well, 2 to the power of k, that's an even number. And an even number minus 1, that's going to be an odd number. So notice how this is in the form a number times a number is equal to number times a number. Meaning this number is going to equal this number and this number is equal to this number. So now I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 8 and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 15. So for 2 to the power of y equals 8, y is going to equal 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So that's our solution for y. And for 2 to the power of k minus 1, add 1 on both sides. I get 2 to the power of k is equal to 16, meaning k is 4. So now that we have our value for y and k, remember x is equal to k plus y, meaning x equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. So these are my solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus x minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x squared to the power of 2. And x minus 1 to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x minus 1 squared to the power of 2. So now this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is x minus 1 squared. So now I have x squared plus x minus 1 squared times x squared minus x minus 1 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, x minus 1 squared, let's go ahead and expand that. That's going to equal x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Because remember, you got to distribute the negative sign. And this is equal to 0. So now, let's go ahead and simplify this. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. So I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared x squared cancel out. So just 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So for 2x minus 1 equals 0, x is simply equal to 1 half. That's a simple equation. And now for 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, we're going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b. So negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1. And all of this over 2a, so 2 times 2, which is 4. And now this is the same thing as positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 over 4. And as you can see, we have the square root of a negative number, which we can't do. So my only solution here is x equals 1 half. So x equals 1 half is my answer.